Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. So today we'll be talking about currencies within Business Central. Um, so we'll just start by talking through um, the currency exchange rate service that we have available to us within BC. Um, we'll then go through adding a new currency into Business Central. We'll then go about updating the exchange rate for that currency. Um, and then we'll talk through how we can automate the update of exchange rates via the job queue in Business Central. Um, so first things first, I'm just gonna search for a page here called Currencies. Um, so this is a new company, there's not much data in this particular environment, but um, we're just gonna go ahead and add some data in here for us to review. Um, so as I mentioned, what we're going to do first is just set up a, an exchange rate service. So I'm just going to go to exchange rate service here, and I'm going to go to exchange rate services. So here you can see I have an exchange rate service applied in this environment already. So it's one that I imported in using a, a configuration package. Um, and this uses the float rates um, service for um, updating the exchange rate. So if I go into this exchange rate service, you can see I've got some information in here. Uh, as I mentioned, this was all imported in using the configuration package that I have um, ready prepared to, to do this. Um, but essentially what this does is it goes away to a service URL, namely this one here. So floatrates.com forward slash daily forward slash gbp dot xml. Um, and it will go there and grab the latest exchange rates from that particular website um, for us. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of other setup in here. So this is all done using a data exchange definition. So we've got some other videos on that feel free to, to go ahead and watch those um, if, uh, if you're interested in data exchange definitions. Um, but to continue with this video, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just enable the um, currency exchange rate service here. So just on the enabled flag here, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Um, and I have to agree to the terms and conditions here. So I have to say I accept. Um, and what this does is it creates a job queue entry for the daily update of exchange rates. Um, the system is asking me, do you want to open the job queue entries window? I'm going to say no for now, uh, because that's one that we'll cover a little bit later. Um, so essentially what we've done is we've enabled the currency exchange rate service, which will go away to this URL and it will collect for us the most up to date currency exchange rate for us. Um, so how will it do this? Well, let me jump back to my currency screen here. And as you can see, we have no currencies on here right now, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add a new foreign currency. Um, so what's important here, guys, is I'm gonna add a foreign currency, which is, for example, euros here. Um, and this is foreign to the company that I'm working in right now. So once be very careful with this, that we don't normally have our local currency in the currencies table in Business Central. So the local currency is set up on another page here. If I just go to a page called the General Ledger Setup. Here we have a few fields for local currency symbol, code and description. So the local currency is set up there, but we do not add in normal circumstances the local currency to our currencies table. So just coming back to our Euro currency, I'm just gonna open up the card here to make it a little bit more presentable. Um, I can fill in some details. So I'm gonna say Euros, I can put in an ISO code and an ISO numeric code. Um, so I'm not sure what that one is, unfortunately, so I'll leave it blank. Um, you can see here it's picked up the symbol automatically for us. Um, so then I can also define some configuration to set up the unrealized gains and the unrealized losses accounts. Um, so this is an account which I can define from my chart of accounts. As I mentioned, this is a new company, so I don't have any accounts on my chart of accounts within this company, but we'll do another video based on the unrealized um, and the realized um, gains and losses accounts within Business Central and how they're used. 
Um, so just scrolling down here, there are a few of the fields to do with rounding that we can fill in if we need to. An important one here that um, I often miss is um, one called the max VAT difference allowed. So this is set up per currency. So we need to set this up per euros um, or we also have the same field on our general ledger setup for our local currency. So it depends what document you're working in um, and, and what currency that is in, um, where we need to update the max VAT difference um, for that particular currency. Um, okay, so I've just rushed over it here, but what we have now is our new currency code. Um, and we don't currently have any exchange rates for that yet. So if I come into my um, shortcut here, under the home menu to exchange rates. So I've got the euros currency highlighted at this point in time. And if I go into exchange rates, we see that there are no currency exchange rates at this point in time. So there's no records on this table. Now, what can I do to import that currency exchange rate? Well, as we know, we set up the exchange rate service here earlier. Um, but what I can do to update that exchange rate is just go ahead and say update exchange rates here. So if I click this button, what it will go away and do is it will pull in the latest exchange rate from our exchange rate service that we set up earlier in the video. And now if I go into exchange rates, you can see there's a record in here which has today's date as the starting date. It has the currency code, which is your rows. The relational currency code, which is blank because we're comparing this to our local currency, it's then got the exchange rate amount and the local amount here, which is the, the GBP amount. Then I also have the adjustment exchange rate and the relational adjustment exchange rate, which um, we can cover in another video, but that's to do with the adjustment of currency exchange rates at month end for our open transactions. But essentially what BC has done is when I clicked um, update exchange rates here, it pulled in an exchange rate into our euro currency. And the same goes for any currency that we might add into this table. It would go away and update that exchange rate when I go ahead and click the update exchange rates button. So obviously I don't have to import these exchange rates. I can just go in and I can manually input a record in here as well. So I can say tomorrow's date, I can add in my own number here. I don't have to do that via the service. I can do this manually if I want to. So, um, that's how we set up a currency exchange rate service. We set up a currency and we pulled in some exchange rates for that. Now, the one other thing relevant to this video is the job queue entry, which uh, we were questioned about earlier. Do we want to open the job queue entry? I said no, um, but what can we use the job queue entry for? Well, if I go to my job queue entries table here, I can see that there's a job created here for updating the currency exchange rates. Now, what does this job do? Well, I can basically set BC up to go away every day and pull in that currency exchange rate for me automatically. So let me just go set on hold here so I can edit the job and I can say, for example, next run date formula is 1D and I can say 01 o'clock. Now, I'll just go ahead and say set status to ready. Sorry, I just need to change this to 01 o'clock and set status to ready. Now, what this will do, and I guess we can do another video on the job queue entries, um, but this will run code unit 1281, which is update currency exchange rates, and it will run every one D or one day in Business Central date formula talk. Um, it will start at 1 a.m. Um, so we just need to leave this job alone now. It will automatically run every day. You can see the earliest start date time here is tomorrow's date at 1 a.m. And what that will do is it will go in and pull in a new currency exchange rate 
for every single currency that we have on the currencies table. Um, again, you don't have to do it that way. You can update the exchange rates manually. You don't have to update the exchange rates every one day. You can update them every week, every month. I guess it's whatever works for your business. Um, so we will do another video where we run through posting transactions in foreign currencies, but this is how we set up a currency exchange rate in BC. It's how we set up a currency exchange rate service and a job queue to automatically update the exchange rates within our BC environment. We hope you find this video useful and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.